Hey there, this is Asenjo, and these few KOF 15 videos will be a rundown of character changes for patch 1.32 that went live on May 17th, 2022. We're only reviewing characters we are familiar with, which are the entire Rochi team, Kula, Whip, Elizabeth, and Terry Bogart. But if you're interested in seeing more quality content like this, we'll let you know how to support us at the end of the video so you can see more complete video series. Some of this stuff will go over our head in these patch notes, but we'll try our best to discuss it anyway. Really excited about these changes, so let's get started. In this video, we're going to be checking out Shermie's changes. First off, in a lot of these patch notes, you'll see overall frames used a good bit. According to a lovable frame nerd I know, aka Ferris Cindy, overall frames refers to the frames that make up an entire character action including startup frames, active frames, and recovery frames. So if you see overall frames reduced in the patch notes, it usually means some combination of the following. The move is starting up quicker, the attack or motion is active for a shorter period of time, and or the recovery is shorter. For starters, Shermie's dash speed got increased, which is going to make closing the gap feel a lot better. Bar Light Punch got a command normal cancel, opening up frame trap opportunities far into a block string for people pressing buttons. With far standing light kick, the first hit is now special cancelable, and they reduce the knockback distance for the second hit. This cancel is going to give you new confirm possibilities and another place to sneak in Shermie shoot. Reducing the knockback distance is going to make it easier for confirms and staying close to your opponent and making them uncomfortable. Her blowback got its overall frames reduced by 3, making it feel a little bit more spammable and even more useful given the situation. Crouching Light Punch had its overall frames reduced by 2, seemingly making this a better button for stronger frame traps, allowing Close Standing Heavy Punch and Crouching Heavy Punch to link from it on hit. Crouching Heavy Punch had its startup reduced from 7 frames to 5, making it an even stronger anti-air that can work as a frame trap button with Crouching Light Punch. Crouching Heavy Kick now moves forward, giving an already great sweep some more range. Jumping Heavy Punch has her hitbox expanded backwards during hops and hyper hops, making it easier to cross up on crouching opponents, which is an interesting choice when Shermie already has a bakery worth of cake, but she's given more when you have cake starved fighters like Rock struggling to cross up because of his concave booty. It's a shame. Jumping Heavy Kick during a vertical jump had its frontal hurt box reduced, making a stronger air to air for protecting your airspace and your position. Shermie's Heavy Kick Throw, Frontal Flash, received some adjustments so it can work as intended. Normal Shermie Stand has overall recovery reduced by 3 frames, making the standing overhead a little bit faster overall. Cancelled Shermie Stand reduces the first hit's pushback enough to make super cancels and quick cancels way easier to pull during confirms. Pre-patch, it felt really hard to get Shermie's level 1 Command Grab Super to land after a second hit of Shermie Stand. Shermi Spiral now has reduced recovery when successfully hit, which will lead to stronger, scarier setups, but also means people that already had setups like ourselves have to relearn the new timings. Shermi Whip has reduced recovery after connecting it, making it easier for her to be back on her opponent after they wake up. EX Shermi Whip has the backward movement reduced while expanding the attack hitbox forward, giving it more general range, letting you combo easily after EX Clutch without needing to micro dash. Light Kick Shermie Clutch Startup was reduced from 11 frames to 8 frames, making it a faster anti-air option. As for EX Shermie Clutch, the attack startup's been reduced from 8 frames to 6, the forward travel distance has been increased, but the landing recovery has been greatly increased as well. This change has Shermie literally shooting herself out of a cannon to anti-air you with faster activation speed and farther distance, with a lot of landing recovery for the trade-off. With Shermie's shoot, it was given a lot more recovery on whiff, so it's going to make this way easier to punish now. Now, for this change though, Normal Axel Spin Kick got one of the biggest changes, giving her projectile invulnerability during the travel, but not on the startup. The startup moves her forward more before the spin now, and the damage has also been buffed, with the light kick version adjusted from 65 damage to 80, and the heavy kick version adjusted from 65 damage to 100. Lastly, level 1 Shermi Carnival has a longer knockdown duration coupled with a bigger grab range, to give you more time to close the gap after a successful grab from 2.5 characters away. 
All in all, this was a great glow up for Shermy. Many of her buttons got better, opening up more utility and variety for strings and confirms. She has stronger setup options from her command grab along with other tweaks to her specials making them feel more filled out and a meterless option to counter zoning off of the price of a more punishable Shermy shoot. She made out like a sexy bandit this patch. That's gonna be it for this video on character updates for Shermy. Big thank you for all of those of you that took the time to check this out. If you want to see more character patch reviews, make sure to check out our Ko-Fi and support us any way that you can. If the community can help us hit parts of our donation goals, we'll make more of these and hopefully we'll get through the whole cast. Just remember, videos like these take a lot of time for us to make, and I gotta eat. We've been working on comprehensive character tutorials for every aspect of the Orochi team, including info on each button, each move, general strats, the works. If this is something that interests you, stay tuned. Those are going to be done soon. If you're feeling the content you're seeing, we appreciate any support that comes our way. So share it with your KOF friends if it was helpful. The more support we get, the longer we can make content like this. If you ever need to hit us up, you can do so through Discord and Twitch. And eventually Twitter, but I'm afraid of that website, so I don't use it that much. Hope everyone enjoys the game changer.